Peter Drucker said knowledge is power, which is why people who had it in the past often tried to make a secret of it. In post-capitalism, power comes from transmitting information to make it productive, not from having it. Welcome everyone to World Class Wednesdays. Today's lesson is champions don't care who gets the credit. Average performers believe information is the key to whatever success they've had, and they tend to hoard it for fear of losing their power. Champions are different. Champions know that information is everywhere. The secret is taking action on the information and developing competence. Middle class performers are stuck in the mindset that knowledge is power when the truth is that intelligent use of knowledge is and always has been the seat of true power. Pros are information sharing conduits for their organizations. Because they are working from a spirit driven instead of ego based mindset, who gets the credit makes no difference. Amateurs are afraid that, if they don't get the credit often enough, they will be forced out of their companies. Every decision to share information is carefully considered by amateurs. The pros operate from abundance. Fear is the last thing on their minds. Creating dynamic, positive feedback loops is an ongoing mission for the champions. In their roles as leaders, they have driven fear out of their organizations. People are encouraged to challenge ideas and information for the good of the organization. The great ones know that if sharing too much information ever costs them their position, they are always in demand in the marketplace. The pros will always share information and credit and will always be able to write their own ticket. Your action step for today is to rate your willingness to share information for the good of the organization on a scale of one to seven, with seven being the most willing. If you score less than a five, you may be operating primarily from an ego-based consciousness rooted in fear. Make a commitment to shift your thinking more towards your spirit self.